All right, we're videoing this time. We've been talking about focus. Oh, thank you. I have an assistant here. He's helping me with a lot of the things we've talked about over the last two months. One of the things we got to do was our science glasses. Oh, you are adorable. Come here. And we talked about money, how money can stop our focus or distract our focus. Thanks. We talked about, yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? Our science glasses, how to protect what we see and how we see. Ooh, the next glasses are coming up, thank you. Now these are pretty fancy. These might be some of my favorites, but they're really hard to see from because you've got these lines in them. Oh, thanks. And ha, they've got lights. But that also is distracting because I can see all the lights around me. So these are not good glasses for me to focus. But in a crowd, maybe they would draw focus so other people would be able to see me better because it's loud and obnoxious and annoying. All right, so in the meantime, I got a few more examples here. We'll get to this one in a minute. We know the true focus is to keep our eyes on God. He's the big focus. He's, that didn't make sense. He's the reason we can focus. Oh, thanks. And the sunglasses help protect our eyes, right, buddy? Yeah. All right, I was handed a magnifying glass. <laughs> Isn't that fun? You can see the magnification through the lens on that. Now, it doesn't say what the magnification is on this one. Can I see that one, buddy? The green one? In your yeah, hand? I'm good, fine. I'll give it back to you. Please? Yeah. All right, thanks. This one, oh, I thought it said it's magnification on this one, but it doesn't. Its magnification is a little bit different. And not just because the magnifying glass is bigger, but it would have to be because of the way the glass is curved. Do you have some more for me, buddy? Oh yeah? Yeah, and then I want the other ones too. And yep, that one and the brown one. Can I have the brown one? Oh yeah. All right. Around here, these are our favorite pair of binoculars. Now you may look at this and say, Miss Elizabeth, those are not binoculars, they're toilet paper tubes. But around here, you would be surprised how many Pokemon these things have seen. Remember, part of faith is not necessarily seeing what you can believe, but believing in what we cannot see. All right, right now he's giving me prisms. I'll talk about those in a minute. With those binoculars, we now have these binoculars. These are from the Santa Ana Zoo. They're his play binoculars, and they're just made out of plastic. But they do work. Oh, thank you, I have lots of prisms now. They do work a little bit. The plastic on there is curved, so it does warp what you see. And I have the box for the prisms. But because it's a toy and it's plastic, it doesn't really work that great. Here is, they got twisted up. Oh, thank you. I'll get to those in just a minute, okay? My grandfather's opera glasses. And they actually say the magnification on these. They say it's three by 28. I don't know what that means but it's a number. And so it tells me something about the type of magnification that these are using. Now we have a stronger pair of binoculars. They're astronomical binoculars. And we left those inside, but that's okay. Cause we have an even bigger thing that will help us see things far away as if they're a little closer. Now, I don't know if you can no touch, I don't know if you can see it in the frame because when I'm looking at the mirror, it kind of gets washed out. But the moon 
has risen. It's a little more than a half moon right now. And we have, I'm going to untape my phone from the holder and I'm gonna show you over here. This is the inside of a telescope. Pretty cool. Now, the telescope has a big long tube. Orion are the people that make this one. And it collects all of the light from this side. And the light bounces. Hello. Does that show up on there? It might. The light bounces off of the mirror at the bottom. And there's a mirror right here. You can kind of see the mirror down in that mirror. And then it bounces the light up here to the eyepiece. This eyepiece is just for focusing, so you can kind of see where it's aimed. But this eyepiece, and I have no idea if I can do this the right way. <gasps> nope, wait. Yeah, that's too hard to line it up, but you can watch me look through it. Or not. I might need my astronomer, my physics guy, to readjust it. Because sometimes what you think you're gonna see changes. Now here they are, they are adjusting it just a little bit because of our rotation around the sun and things. It's the earth spinning. It's, I'm sorry, it's the earth spinning. I shall not tell you bad information. Because the earth is spinning what we see in the sky seems to travel. And there he is looking through it. What does the moon look like, William? Um, it's not smooth? No, bumpy. From here it looks smooth. Okay, he can see it. Oh, now I see it. It is a little bit bumpy. Not what I was expecting to see because usually I see them in the night sky. And the night moon and the day moon do look very different. And sometimes because I'm looking with my glasses, it's hard to get a good look because the glasses take away part of the closeness to it. So it was aimed right at the part of the moon were the dark side and the light side. And so part of it did look smooth, but then it looked, it looked bumpy. There were like little holes in it that you could see. Magnification, taking a closer look at things can be really, really fun sometimes. And you might not need to understand how something works in order to get the better view. We've got some extra lenses here. They've all got numbers on them. They change the focus of the magnification and how big it is. Just like all the other binoculars and stuff that we saw. Oh, thanks. Speaking of magnification. So, there's a little teeny tiny, oh, thanks, lesson. Good thing those were plastic. I hope that as our summer is wrapping up and we're ending our series on faith and focus, that some of these skills of taking a closer look, looking a little bit deeper at some things, letting other things not distract us from what our focus wants to be, that you'll be able to take those and just soar and use them to go deeper and deeper with your relationship with God and with others. So thanks for hanging with us this summer, and I hope you have a great week. I'll talk with you later. Bye.